The time has come. Execute Order 66. <laughs> Big Mike's Real Reviews. This is Big Mike, and the first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi has just dropped on Disney+. Plus. A little early, I might say. Normally, they come out around 3 a.m. Eastern Time, which was uh, midnight Pacific Time. But tonight, they came out at midnight Eastern Time, which was uh, about 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time. So we got a little treat today. The first two episodes dropped. And I'm going to give you my non-spoiler review of the first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, I will say this, first thing, not really a spoiler. Uh, the first episode opens right on Order 66. I know we've seen Order 66 a number of times in a lot of Star Wars media of late. But, I will say, I really don't get tired of seeing different perspectives of order 66 so not really a spoiler but i really liked how they kicked off the first few minutes of of obi-wan kenobi i thought uh it really grabbed me you know and pulled me in uh to this new world and it got it got me a little excited i'm not gonna lie um brought me right back into the whole star wars thing i, I know a lot of fans have been saying recently that they wanted to get away from like a lot of the Jedi stuff and the Sith and you know lightsaber duels and all that stuff. But you know what? That's why I love Star Wars. Honestly, I love the Jedi versus the Sith, lightsaber battles, the Force, all of it. I'm here for it. Like I love the Mandalorian. Don't get me wrong, but like you still have some Force stuff in there, of course, with Grogu and everything else. And you've had, like, you know, your Luke scenes and everything, but it's not really, like, focused on it. So it was really refreshing for me to start to see this, you know, over again. And then as it goes more so into the story, showing what Obi-Wan has been up to, they're saying this has been, uh, you know, 10 years since uh, Order 66 has actually happened. And so it was really interesting to see the world that they're building uh, post-Order 66 what the Jedi are kind of going through. Um, I, I just really was enjoying, you know, a lot of the world building and bringing in the Inquisitors and things like that. Again, not spoilers because stuff we saw in the trailers. So I was really intrigued. I'm really excited to see more. Um, I really did enjoy uh, what they were doing with the first episode. Like what Obi-Wan's been doing, like how he's been just kind of laying low, keeping an eye on Luke. Again, if you're a Star Wars fan, not really a spoiler because that was the mission that Yoda gave to him at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith. Anyway, so episode two picks up right where episode one left off. Um, like I said, I don't want to really drop too many spoilers in here. We do get um, some returning actors, not going to say who in case, you know, spoilers again. <laughs> so um, it, it was really good to see kind of the reason why as well like obi-wan kind of gets back into the game a lot of people were saying okay so is it just going to be obi-wan like creeping up on luke like all the time like what is this show actually going to be about so we actually got a little bit of explanation we knew like the inquisitor is going to be after um obi-wan but it was also interesting to see how the inquisitors actually you know found out about obi-wan's whereabouts uh after order 66 so it's it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of things that i want to say but i want to keep this spoiler free um i will say let's say the good okay so the good that i really did enjoy like i i have been saying so far i liked how the first episode started off grabbed me pulled me right back in <laughs> this star wars world and uh just kept me intrigued um i i was enjoying the story what they're doing with it some of the pacing was a little slow but i really was enjoying what i was seeing um i had one one really big gripe that was around the end of the second episode but i kind of want to see how it plays out before i really get a little perturbed about what happened um it just kind of it's 
it, it's not again not to get into spoilers but if if this goes the way i hope it's not going it's going to be a huge continuity error huge continuity error for, for me so i don't really want to get into that i kind of want to see where this show is going to go you know from here but overall i w- i did enjoy it uh i'd probably say because they put the first two episodes out uh at the same time I, I don't i really don't know which episode i enjoyed more i do believe i kind of enjoyed both of them for what they were um and probably would score them about the same i think i'd give both uh episodes about an eight uh i really did enjoy both episodes i really am on board with what they're doing here i hope they don't drop the ball i hope they really stick the landing with this the first two episodes were enjoyable and the last episode left us with a little bit of glimpse of another character kind of a you know hint nod whatever you want to call it and um I, i'm just excited to see what they're where they're going to go from here so again my rating on this one i'd give it about an eight and i'm i'm on the obi-wan kenobi train and i want to see where this is going to end and i'm really hoping that uh disney sticks the landing on, on this show so with that being said that's going to be the end of the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra generous, give this video a like. It's much appreciated. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of all my latest content. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.